Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mr. Blue here, aka Tommy Miller. Mr. Blue Farms. Everybody, how y'all doing? Today is going to be a little bit different. We're starting out on my YouTube page here. Yeah, I need to redo my banner back here. I love this uh, picture here, Mr. Blue Farms. Uh, right now I'm at 76 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. Now this is not going to be a shout out or anything, but I'm going to scroll down through here and you know, see some of my videos and stuff. Uh, some of my featured channels over here. Colin Julian, Diesel Designs, Gloria Thomason, Brad M, Merch Mail Video, Andrew Larve. I hope I said that right. Uh, i got a bunch of more, but they uh, don't list. Folks, today we are going to um, do a little something different. Let's see if I can do this and record it too. This is my recording software. It's the HD Game, it's Game Catcher HD from Elgato. I thought it was on here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Elgato Sound Capture. There's the HD 60. Uh, the simple plug and play, and as you can see, you got your game audio, microphone, your tags and titles and stuff like that. Um, I am using a way smaller screen because my other one busted. So uh, this monitor won't support all the stuff because uh, right here you have a timer on how long you've been recording, uh, option to go live. And a bunch of other stuff right here. And also let me drop this down. Uh, it's been a while since I went live. But you got a live streaming. You got a bunch of settings here. Um, like I said, the, the game capture and stuff and all this. And there's a bunch of stuff. You can put your tags in here if you want to. But this is a software I use. A lot of people ask me a bunch of questions about that. So I figured I'd throw this in. But it's just the Game Catcher HD 60. I'm recording 720p, 30 frames a second as we speak now. I know it don't give as best quality as a lot of the others do, but, you know, when you're live streaming and stuff, you, you kind of want it down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, you got the record button, uh, commentary button, your talk button on and off. Uh, these are some of your, this year. I can't show you the other part if I do, you know, go up here to edit mode. You can uh, actually cut some of the clips out of the video before you ever render it. But to render it, you just hit the stop button, go to edit, uh, depending on what settings you got, you'll see a little blue bar goes across. When that gets all the way over, They'll be saved to your files, which will be right here. Now, it will come down to right here, but when I get them here, like say I record two videos at one time, or not at one time, but I'll record two videos back to back there. I'll take the first one and put it in whatever folder there is, like American Outback, Giant Silent Cherry Hills, you know, so on, so on. Monday through Sunday, folks. So Sunday, it will have two videos in there. My vlog I do at 11 a.m. And the uh, farming simulator I do at 2 p.m. Central time every day, folks. Uh, this other, The songs I use is copyright or non-copyright and stuff. But anyway, I had uh, one of my subscribers... I've been helping with, hopefully I've been pushing him to go beyond his ability. I know he's got it in him. He's probably just needing, you know, get out there, save up his money, get some good software and stuff. I'm not saying what he's got now is bad. You can only do what you can do, folks. If you got just a, a cell phone, just a cell phone will work. It don't have to be taught not to get started. But, when you can, save your money, get some good software. Now, 
I don't want to say that's that's you know make that sound bad. It's not not bad. I'm not making it sound that way, but you know, if you can better yourself, better yourself, and it'll all come in. But folks, he's wanting me to show him how to do mods. So I'm like, well, I'll make a video out of it. That way I'll help more than one person. You know, some likes to see what my YouTube page looks like. Well, you just go to this link right up here, or this Google Mr. Blue Farms, and it'll pull up. It'll pull up this. Might not look like this to y'all, but this is similar to what it's going to look like. My name is Tommy Miller. There is like 10 of me on YouTube. So go to the one that's got Mr. Blue Farms and the little tractor. That'll be me. But I'm going to close out of this and we're going to go to our next page. This is uh, some of the mod sites that you can get mods from. This is MS Mod 17. Uh, you got to be careful. This says all 17 right now. There's one of these that does 15 and 17 mods. But you go down through here and they'll show you the mods and everything. But uh, I'm not going to get all into this. But be careful of these sites. Um, they all use cookies to trace, you know, you've been there and stuff. Some of them want you to sign up. That's fine. But folks, uh, I'm not going to do it on this one because I don't like this. I don't, I don't use it unless I can't find one that's on here. That's the only time I'll use it. FS17.co. This is a little bit different. Farming Simulator 2017 mods says log in and register. You don't have to do that here. But, um, you know, they got quite a few mods here. They... Might be in different languages on some of them, but you can just uh, copy and paste that in Google Translate if you want to read more. But I'm going to go on. Um, like I said, I don't use them. There's modland.net. Some folks might like it, but I, I don't. It covers all kind of different things. You can see here, you got the the cargo pack but another thing folks you've got to be careful of the dates and a bunch of other stuff uh let's see this is one i use mod hub it's actually modhub.us and there's the rest of the link for it for this one but uh right now you go to go to this page it'll have this little thing that scrolls across here you can see different mods up here and uh, you can see right now there's a planter. That's one we're here on now. You go down through here. You kind of read what it is and what it does. And you scroll on down. Always make sure when it says download, it's got modhub.us. It may have two or three more other download links, which that's fine. But I would just get them from, from modhub, folks. Be safe, especially if you don't have no uh, virus protection. But when you download or click on this and it goes to here, go over here and make sure it's under 2017 mods. Okay, if you're running 2017 Farming Simulator, make sure it's looking like this right here. Okay, because if it's under 15, it's not going to work. It'll go in the folder and everything, but it's not going to work. Okay, and... um. Also, look down through here at the comments. Won't load error. Unsupported mod description versions. Okay, some of that is due to them not loading it right or something. But, uh, yeah, like this in here. I, I like this planner idea because it's a three-point attach. Also, not how a 16-row stack fold is laid out. That is true. Um... It's supposed to be eight boxes. You can go back up here. They got three, four, five, six. It should be eight boxes here and four here and four here in the real world. But, you know, that sometimes that don't make a difference. But uh, it all depends on you. Um, 
you know, just read these, look at the date, 6-17-2017. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll get right back to that date thing here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out because I don't want this. I like it, but it's just, I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it. Maybe if they do an update on it or something. I'm kind of picky of what I do. And this here. This is fine. This is a cool tender. I saw. I figured a lot of people would like it. You know, that's fine. Not much details. But it's from Mod Hub and it is under 2017. Um, there's a lot of people on here fighting back and forth and stuff about it. But you see here. And it says do not drag into drop into the mod folder. Please read the read me instructions. Some of them are like that. You have to read them. So yeah. But moving right on along, and plus you gotta have a gooseneck truck to use that. So I'm gonna close that now. Alright. Got one right here that's left. This is one I'm wanting. Uh Crone Baylor, I suppose non stop. So, um, it says for me to log in, I don't have to log in to do this, but um, and it's also got photos here. Um, but if you read right here, to be able to have full features supported by this mod, you will need a manual attaching script by Hoopster or whatever. And uh, what it does, you have to get out of your tractor, go around to the back. You, you back your tractor up to it, and you get out of your tractor, go around, and then you have to hit like A or B or something, and it attaches the equipment to the tractor that way. You have to get in and out of your tractor, in other words. Which, that's fine, you know, if that's all it is you need to make that work, that'd be great. But I'm thinking about to, to do this, but for example, as I was talking about, I hope I ain't going too fast, but if I am, just rewind it or let me know or drop a comment or something but mod hub us 24 megabytes okay download bmmodding.de i don't know what that is never heard of it it's some other website so um i don't know what's going to pull up but i'm not going to mess with that but uh as you can see here all this is in uh spanners or something Finally, my favorite Beller makes his way to FS-17. Thanks a bunch, man. Incense, uh, Covert, and a Crown. Uh, favorite Big Bell for MS. Um, what I was saying about this, 618, 2017. Folks, I can't remember when it came out. It was October, October 2016. So anything from 10, 10, 25 or 10, 26. I can't remember what date it was that came out. But anything from 10, 25, 2016 back beyond, you do not want to download it for 2017. Yeah, you know, it'll be uh, like right here. 6-14-2017 is when Thomas put it on Mod Hub. Okay. If that's, say, July 2016, that won't be for Farming Simulator 17. It'll be for 15. Make sure you check the dates on your mods. Okay. Uh, I haven't downloaded it as yet. So I'm going to go ahead and download. And it goes straight here, folks. That's why I love Mod Hub. You see these right here? Now, this ain't going to help to show. These are the leftovers of this folder. Um, what I mean leftovers is there was four more zip files. It's just like this right here. There's four of those in this one right here. You... See, right as it is, is right here, the mods folder will recognize it, but 
if it's got another zip file in here, as long as it's like this, they're open and not zip, it'll recognize it. It'll recognize that zip file. You don't have to do nothing to it. Just drop it in your mod folder. I don't know if I got one that has... No. I, I wish I had one. But anyway, this mods unzip was the uh, this one right here, the Cat Books Liquid, Cat Dolly and Cat Kenworth and Cat Semi Trailer. Uh, this one was a separate one, but this one, two, three, four mods right here, zip folders was in that unzip me. But as you see, I go in this zip, they're all just regular folders, okay? They're just regular folders. But these four zips was in, there you go, was in this unzip me. So all you do, you just go, like it says, unzip me, go in, so you got four zip mods right here, okay? You select those. You right click, cut, take them to your mods folder, paste them in there. Okay, that's all you got to do. If they're, you know, zip files within a zip file, I guess you can say. I hope I'm explaining this right because it's my first uh, video like this explaining something. I wish. Okay, here's one. This oil pump, it says unzip. Okay. This and you will have to unzip. You'll have to go in here, copy these two, or you go in here, you know, select both of them, uh, right click, and paste them into your mods folder. But you, you want to go in, though, and check, make sure there ain't no other zips, and it has mod description. As long as they're like this, they're fine. But if they're like this, within a zip, see this in here, zip file, with zip files, they won't recognize it. You have to copy these, or cut them, then place them in there. You cannot place that in there with zip files, within a zip file. It won't work. I hope I explained that right. If not, please do a comment or something. I'll try to explain it, or... Maybe make a better video. Um, I do have Discord, but I need to get the link and put it in my description down below. Um, what was it going to say? Uh, Pleasant Valley 17 V2. Um, just a bunch of stuff, folks, here. That, um, yeah. But anyway. That is how to do the mods, and this is where I get my mods from, is Mod Hub, or the original Farming Seminary 17 website. The only two places I go, I do not go to these others unless I watch what I do. Because folks, they're, they're like this. Uh, I gotta say, it don't have them on this page. But you see how it's got two download links right here, okay? Those other sites have download buttons like over here, a download button over here, download button over here, and you don't know which download button is which, okay? So, but anyway, this is going to wrap up. Uh, if y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I do Instagram and Twitter, but I usually just use them to share my videos on. I don't, uh, if you really want to get in touch with, with me for right now, just leave a link down below in the description. And hope nothing bad pops up, which it shouldn't. Won't be bad, bad, but I'm just trying to say, 
a lot of folks don't know what description is. Let's go to my videos real quick. One other thing I want to show y'all. Okay, here's my videos. Let's do one that's already done. Let's do this and it's only got six views. I'm not going to let it run. I'm just going to pause it. But folks, right here is the description. It'll say it. It's right there. I can show more. So you get you go you got your video right here. I'm starting to stutter. You got your video, okay? You're watching my video. If you go down to the description, and it'll, it'll say show more, show less, which see show less. It'll be right here. Here's the comments. But if you hit show more, I have some writing and stuff here, and this will be all my videos. Not all of them. It'll, it'll be the first and last video uh, of each episode, you know, of each. Got Sanofka, Giant Talent, Bajerum, and stuff like that. And going down, here's my website, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, my PayPal link if you want to support me on my channel. And also, here's my fans, fan mail. You're going to send me a letter here. And all this here is just because I use NS, NS, NCS music on my channel. And I have to have that in there or they'll get me for copyright. So that's why I'm explaining this to you in case y'all wondering about this. But here's are my links. They're usually at the very bottom of the description. My fan mail. Uh, you can reach me at any of these. But the best one to reach me at would be either my email or leave a comment down below right here. So having said all that, folks, I hope y'all enjoy this. Um, like I said, I, I hope it explained everything. If it don't, leave some comments down below. Um, anything else y'all want to know, just, like I said, just leave a comment. I know I'm saying it over and over, but I got to hurry up and get off here. Um, got some things I got to take care of. And y'all might see right here in the title how to place mods. I can't put the C in because if I hit the C button on the keyboard, is it going to take a snapshot of whatever I'm recording? So, yeah. Just to show y'all. Just to show y'all real quick. Uh, let's go to FS17. Y'all see right here. There's nothing right here, right? I go back to here. I'm going to hit the C button twice. Okay. I go back to this. And there you go. Screenshot. Tell you what. This is the easiest software right here you can use, folks. As long as you get your settings up here set right. I mainly bought it for the Xbox One, but you can, with the Xbox One, it works perfect. You have your game sounds and your voice and stuff, but you cannot get your friend's voice. Now, you can go to Discord and get all that, and sign up for that and, and do that. But uh, on here, with the PC, it won't do the game sounds like the tractor sound starting up and stuff like that running until I get a like a little it's a little small USB flash drive deal and that's the only way I'll be able to do that what it does uh, let me use my Xbox One controller and then I'll be able to capture all the sounds like that but I, I gotta come up with about $30 to get it well anyway Folks, I just want to say a big fat thank you to all my supporters, my subscribers, and everybody else that watches me. Y'all are blessing. So, folks, thank you very much. Y'all have a, a good day, a blessed day. This has been Mr. Blue Farms, How to Place Mods, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, I will see y'all later, okay? Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Now I'm gone for sure. Bye.